I've got three things to know right now about COVID-19. First, the U.S. set a new daily record in new cases for the sixth time in nine days. More than 55,000 new cases were reported nationwide on Thursday. Several states also set single day records, including Florida and Georgia. Second, Aurora Mayor Mike Kaufman says he would support a face mask mandate. It's up to local health officials. Aurora is under the Tri-County Health Department. They will have a public meeting to discuss a mask mandate next week. And finally, Eagle County enters its next phase of reopening today. It's called the Black Diamond Phase. Makes sense, right, for the high country. It will allow gatherings of up to 100 people indoors, 175 people outdoors. Masks are required inside businesses and whenever social distancing is impossible. Now we want to take a closer look at Colorado's numbers when it comes to COVID-19. In 24 hours, our number of cases went up by more than 320 people. You can see the seven day moving average line. That is the dotted line showing the recent days kind of up and down. We have also seen a slight increase in hospitalizations. Now, while it remains low, the latest numbers show 147 patients in the hospital. You can see those numbers are barely going up here just recently. More people in our state are getting tested. Now the state processed more than 8,700 tests on Wednesday. That is the highest total up to date. The real key to this thing to remember is tracking the positivity rates, and that is the rate of tests that come back positive for COVID-19. It is rising slightly, so that's not good, but not by much. The seven day moving average is 3.45%, that 0.3% higher than last week. You can take a closer look at the numbers. We have them all listed and what they mean at 9news.com.